Hey, what is going on everybody? Time for Times Golder and today I am doing the Portsmouth Coin Shop $50 coin grab bag review. PortsmouthCoinShop.com. I've bought a lot of stuff from Daniel. He's an awesome seller and a oh always surprises me with these. So we're gonna go ahead and bust this puppy open. And uh, I'm gonna tell you so um obviously if you um, won the prize from the last, I believe it was West, Vir West Virginia, Wisconsin Gold Rush or something along those lines. Um, be sure to get in touch with me. Uh, that stuff is still there and very much um, waiting on you to send me an email if you haven't already. Uh, by the time I make this, wow, already looking good um, on this. And here is the price. But the other thing I'm going to say is that I'm going to make up a couple um, coin grab bags and stuff as well. Um, just to to keep this stuff flowing and, and keep this money rolling over. So with shipping and taxes and everything, because I did have to pay sales tax, unfortunately, um, without sales tax, uh, because if you buy it from out of the state of Ohio, it would be uh, just $49 plus $8 shipping and handling, so $57. Bucks. But with, with taxes and everything, I paid um, $59.06. So not too bad, not too bad at all. Because Daniel always really impresses me. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Today's silver spot price at the time of making this is $2,802. Gold, $1,910.64. Bitcoin, $34,576.20. So just kind of a point of reference. Wow, I can't believe that. Silver's on the front. So silver, silver on the back. We got all silvers. Uh, well, and a buffalo. <laughs> buffalo nickel. Uh, Daniel uh, packages these very, very well. Uh, he does not want them rattling up in the bag or getting all messed up. Um, Violet is on the couch. You know, she's not supposed to be there. I'm not going to be mean if you get down. She's been really good, and she's okay where she's at. <laughs> all right, so... I, I truly do hope all of you, um, I'm posting this probably the day before Memorial Day, um, and I hope um, all of you take time to uh, consider all the freedoms that we have because of the people who no longer do. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough way to think about it, but it's, it's so true. That's why we have it. Yeah, I am still fumbling with this. Got it. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, truly, truly, we are blessed by selfless individuals willing to literally do whatever it takes to preserve our freedom. And that is something that you don't, our freedom is, is not parallel. There's no nation on this earth that has what we have. I don't care what you try to compare us to or, you know, in socialist, communist countries, they do not have what we have, which is the true ability to enjoy what we have. No other nation has it quite like we do. And if you think there's anything better out there, I suggest you go run to it, because I would disagree. <laughs> not saying that our Friends across the pond or anywhere else have it, have it bad. I'm just saying I think we got it the best. But I might be slightly, you know, favor, favoring our country over another. There we go. Finally, I just broke my pen, though. No, I didn't. <laughs> he tapes them up good, like I was just saying. All right. We're in. All right, so there's one stack. And here's the other. And I've got the trusty coin book, but also I have my old Samsung Galaxy phone over here so that I can use the Googles if need be. And this is just going to be a straightforward, straight through video. It might be a little on the uh, rushed through side because I'm just going to flip them, guesstimate, and go. Um, but I'm going to write them down as I go. Uh, 19 of 48. Daniel calls that eight dollars. I am going to agree with him. 1948, eight bucks. 
And ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho look at that. Three for five bucks. I'm gonna disagree with that. I think they're worth a lot more than that. We got 1903, 1905, and 1901. Of course, none of these are gonna have a mint mark um, because they didn't have one in that period of time. So 1901, 1903, and a 1905. Uh, three weeks or three Indian heads. I'm gonna say they're gonna be worth seven to ten dollars uh, if I sold them on eBay, but I'm not going to. All right, so we have 1901, 1903, 1905, kind of common dates probably, yeah. So I'm gonna say there's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it eight bucks for the three. He said five, I say eight. Already doing better. Keeping, oh, are you kidding me? Look at that right there, that's a walking liberty half dollar. Let's go to this side. We got some forms. Oh, are you serious? That's a 90% silver. That's a 1964 percent silver. He says 13. I will, I will say 13 too, because um, silver is 20. We'll call that a half of an ounce. It's a little less than half an ounce, but yeah. So 13 is fair. Uh, I'll call 12. I'll be conservative. Kennedy. 12. And then. <laughs> We've got these here. I'm just going to throw them in uh, because I don't think any of these ones are silver and they're not. Um, I'm just going to not. Well, what's that one there? 1968 could be silver, actually. Uh, no. I don't know. I don't have a magnet with me, but we'll just call that 20, 25, 50 cents. On, well, actually, it is. We'll call it. We'll just call it 25 cents. I know Canada, 1960, up to 1968s could be 50% uh, silver, but I don't know if it's just the quarters or dimes, but we'll just call it 25 cents because I don't know what the conversion rate is. And there's 35 cents there, I think, 30, 40 cents. We've got a 1956 silver dime. Uh, Hamilton, no, yeah. Roosevelt. Yeah, call it, I guess, 250. I don't think it's quite there, but yeah, we're calling it 25 rounds. That's what it would be. Oh, uncirculated 1968. I wonder if that's got a no S. Um, and then it's stapled to, or stuck to, stapled to. A 1956 D. So for the two of them, I'm gonna say uh, 50 cents. Two unk wheat cents. Well, one no, not two wheat cents. Not one unk wheat cent and one nine six eight. I'm gonna call it yeah, 25 cents. I'm being a little critical. I'm sure two bucks on that. That's a war nickel. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, 16, uh, 28, uh, 31, 35. We're already at $35, and this right here is probably going to hit us at 50 bucks. So, doing what I should do is do this. Boom. <laughs> 1930. Uh, S? Or... Let's see, 1930s, I think. Um, Buffalo. Wait a minute. On the front side of 1930. F. F is the, okay, so that's not nothing. That's not nothing. That sounded correct, yeah. So this is 1930. Yeah, buck and a quarter. And I, I think it's probably better than that, so we'll just call it. What he put on it, we'll call it a buck. And we got 1934, good date, no mint mark. And 1934, not war, buffalo. 
think we're going to be at the same value there. Yeah, it was a buck. That's what he had on it. We got ourselves a 1943 Merc. Three bucks. A v nickel. Oh, 1891. Wow. Wow, he put a buck on that. 1891 V nickel. That's cool. Yeah, no, I'm not calling it a buck, even with the dirty forehead, I'm not calling that a buck. Liberty head nickel technical term, I'm going to call it four bucks. I mean, it says seven in the book, but four. So he called that 13. 1941 Walker. No mint mark. And probably poor, but I mean, that's still got to be 12 bucks. That's what he put on it, right? 12, 13 bucks. Let's see. And then I want to say, like, it's an, you will never get your value out of this stuff. Yeah, probably in that. I'm going to call it 12 bucks. Well, I'll call it twelve fifty because that's still not. Uh, I mean, that's it's got to be better than that. We'll call it thirteen, like he did, but I think it's better than even that because these are, you know, more than silver melt value. But here, and uh, real quickly, we've got um, our values here. We've got sixteen, um, twenty, eight, thirty one. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, uh, 44, 57. Yeah, $57 in value. Um, these go for 49 bucks. You wouldn't pay the $4 in taxes I had to, so technically we got over 100% ROI again. But this, look, I mean, when you go buy these coin grab bags, I really, coin help you. Go check them out. Go subscribe. Uh, Daniel is a numismatist. Uh, he's a, he owns a coin shop. Um, he's, he's awesome uh, in general. I love his videos. He puts out some incredibly informational stuff. He's doing some stuff with coin grading. Um, I can't exactly remember what that's called, but he has, I think it's mintstate.com is, is a website he's partnered with. But look at the variation here. Um, you know, these are, they don't need to be stuck together, but they're, you know, you've got an uncirculated penny, probably out of a, a set. You've got, I'm, I'm assuming eh, it's probably not quite. Oh, you know what? I didn't check D over D. I found a whole bunch of D over Ds. You know, these, these two probably not worth so much, but it, nonetheless, look at this variation. We've even got foreign coins in here. And if that 1968 is 50% silver, that could be a buck by itself. So, you know, raise it another buck. But you always get a great deal. Um, and yes, I've never seen one of these. I've never seen an 1891, you know. You just never know what you're going to get. And so that's what makes it fun. It's a mystery coin grab bag. Daniel puts these together uh, because, uh, and I think all coin shops should do this. And, and at, face of, or at, at, at the value, I mean, or under, just behind it. Because they don't pay full value for this stuff. Uh, if you ever watch Silver Picker, uh, shout out to Silver Picker, really love the Silver Picker, um, he'll tell you, like, they pay back of the value, and then they can sell it for the value and still make a, a fair profit, and that's truly awesome, and then what Daniel does is these are just, you know, coins that he isn't going to put out in his case or whatever, uh, or maybe he would, or what, I don't know, I mean, this is a coin you could put in your case for sure, um, but, uh, you know, they are... Just he buys a bunch of coins, and you know instead of taking the time and take Kelsey to go through, maybe run of the mill you know uh, walkers are thirteen bucks or run of the mill war nickels are three bucks, whatever the case is, he could just put them together in a deal for you, and you're guaranteed to get at least the value that you pay. Not obviously not shipping and all that because everybody has to pay shipping, um, but you're going to get the value you pay for, uh, less shipping or whatever. So truly an awesome 
awesome um, $50 coin grab bag, over 100% return on investment. Again, less the, the taxes and shipping. He has to charge me those things. It's just the cost of doing business on e-commerce. Um, but these here, I mean, this is, this is really awesome and very decent um, shape. Um, you know, little rimdings or whatever, but those are 100 years old. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was not quick, and I know that, but um, I wanted to get this out. I've had this for a month. I mean, through my move and everything, I've had this. And um, I am going to throw up a couple coin grab bags. Um, probably in the description below, you can send me an email or PayPal me. Uh, or no, just email me if you want them. Um, they're they're going to probably be about 25 bucks, or I don't know yet. But actually, scrap that. I'll just do something else uh, with <laughs> I'll figure something out. I just need to keep shuffling through stuff so I can keep buying more stuff. But I have Montana Prospector. And then I have a really awesome box from a, a friend of mine and subscriber and, and patron and all those things um, that I need to get through. Um, and it will, it's, it, they're always awesome when he sends them. So, oh, he or whoever it might be, mysterious sender. Um, but with that, um, real quick, I guess, I'll show off one of my things that I got from Daniel. Um, and this is something that I proudly display right here in my new apartment. Um, being, you know, what time of year it is and, and everything is just awesome. Oh, look at that coin. Super cool. Gold luck. God bless. And I'll see you all in the next one.